My clients for this project are a young couple with two young children and they lived on this land in a small house and tore it down and built this house. Their wish was an airy open house, but they didn't want it to be cold. So although the house is transitional, there's really pops of bright color and modern fixtures. And so it's a nice mix between the aesthetic of a transitional house and bringing a more contemporary flair to it. One of the fun things about the entrance of the house is that we painted the doors dark. We liked the impact of the dark doors and we wanted a formal foyer and somewhere to greet guests and a lovely bench and a, a little space of interest when you walked in. The clients definitely wanted an eat-in space in their dream kitchen and we really wanted to have a banquet so that the kids could gather around and lots of people could sit. We ended up finding the table bases from a place in Turkey that shipped them to us and then we had the tabletop made locally. Obviously everybody wants an island and so the waterfall countertops are really an addition to the beauty of the space. We also played with different cabinetry, so there's slab front doors as well as shaker doors in the kitchen. And we liked that just because it lightened the kitchen up a little bit visually on the upper cabinets. We did debate having darker elements in the kitchen, but in the end it leads out into the backyard. On a beautiful summer day you'd be able to see their pool and it, it's just a lovely addition to the kitchen. I would say the family room is the space they spend the most time in. It's a lovely bright space, it's open to the kitchen. We did want to have a fireplace, but we really wanted to be able to view the fireplace and have visibility of the television set at the same time. So we threw the room off center to the space to give them more seating and also just to have visibility of the fireplace when you're sitting in the kitchen. The dining room connects through into the kitchen with the servery and again because of the kind of playful nature of our clients we wanted some impact and we found this wonderful almost Asian inspired paper and it just beautifully connects the colors in the family room through into the dining room. The dining room although it's open to the space we really wanted it to have some impact so painting the walls it's a beautiful color it's called gentleman's gray and it's really a deep navy and we really felt that it offset the beautiful table. One of the desires for the office was to have, originally we were thinking of very thin metal doors that would separate, but we needed them to be pocket doors because we also didn't want to have a room boxed in the front of the house. So we switched to a wood door that's glass and they're pocket doors that slide into the wall so that the rooms feel continuous as you walk in. But if you want to have some private space in the office, you can close the doors. I love the master bedroom and bathroom in this house. I think they're two of my favorite rooms. We just love the navy blue and the impact of that space. So it's calm and yet there's a nice strong color in it. Again, the drapery with the strong pattern is really beautiful and yet it's powerful but not overpowering in the room. For the headboard, we were looking for something that was a hotel feeling and a big broad headboard. And then we ended up finding a company called Vant Panels. And so those are individually packaged panels. You can pick your fabric and then they clip onto the wall to make this gorgeous headboard. We found these fantastic pendants for the ensuite and we wanted the idea of a floating vanity. So we brought in some warm walnut cabinetry that was custom done and then just the hints of brass and we really loved the way it turned out. Really the big thing for the daughter's bedroom was to find a wallpaper. So she's young, we wanted a wallpaper that would grow with her so that when she was a teenager she wasn't wanting her room redone. We found that great paper from Drop It Modern and we just felt that that could just be changed. So you could have pale pink and it would look like for a young girl and you could change it and she could have a black and white room when she's a teenager. Our homeowner loved the idea of having some words in the floor and so the kids are studying French so we thought it would be great to have bonjour on the floor and then we were able to find these fantastic knobs that are un, deux, trois, quatre on the vanity so it's sort of tied in the like, French themed daughter's bathroom. The son's room we were trying to find a wallpaper that would be cute and we found this again from Drop It Modern this great constellation wallpaper and we thought how fun it would be to put it on the ceiling. And then the light fixture we found sort of has, again, a constellation-like feel. So the room isn't necessarily space-themed, it's a little boy's room, but we just like the idea of having that hit of color but doing it on the ceiling. Our client runs a great art studio for kids called Crafty Kids and she runs it out of the basement of this house. So we had a really fun time helping her organize the space and how she was best going to use it. We had custom stainless double sinks put in so that she could have cleaning space and space for kids to wash their hands. 
It's resilient for the kids. You don't have to worry about anything getting destroyed. And also it has a nice, strong impact downstairs. The client's really happy to be in this house and to have an art studio that she can work in and that her kids can come over and play and friends can entertain. And it, it's just a great, wonderful space for our client.